at the moment. And now we are told that Rajendra Pal Gautam has stood defiant and he has said that he has no communication with the party whether his resignation has been accepted or not. Now he goes on to say, and I quote him here, if I ever have to choose between the party and being an Ambedkarite, I'll choose the latter. A party is a very small thing for me. This is uh, the word that has been put out by Mr. Gotham. I believe uh, Rupashree continues to be uh, with me. Rupashree, you know, word there by Rajendra Pal Gotham. The word, uh, word रेजिग्नेशन आया इवन दो इट वॉज एंटिसिपेटेड फिर भी uh, सभी के मन में है क्या कि क्या पार्टी ने आपको फोर्स किया रिजाइन करने के लिए नहीं नहीं मुझे किसी ने कोई फोर्स नहीं किया लेकिन मैं इस बात से जरूर आहत था कि एक तरफ हमारे समाज के लोगों की मूछ रखने पर मंदिर प्रवेश पर मूर्ति छू लेने पर घड़ा छू लेने पर हत्या हो रही है और दूसरी तरफ घोड़ी पर बारात निकालने पर हमारे समाज के आई ऑफिसर को धमकी दी जा रही है पत्नी आई है पति आई है उसको घोड़ी पे बरात निकालने पे धमकी दी जा रही फिर आम आदमी का क्या होगा वो बहन बेटियों के साथ बलात्कार करके जिस तरह उनको फांसी पे लटकाया जा रहा है इससे एक तरफ तो मैं इससे आहत हूं कि कोई भी देश का प्रधानमंत्री गृहमंत्री और अन्य नेता इन मुद्दों पे चुप्पी साध लेता है मतलब हमारे समाज के साथ रोज रोज उत्पीड़न की घटनाएं होती है कोई बोलता नहीं है साथ ही साथ धन्यवाद बीजेपी को इसलिए भी करूंगा कि जिस लड़ाई को मैं बचपन से लड़ता आया कि हमारे लोगों को हिंदू नहीं समझा जाता हमारे लोगों को अछूत शूद्र आदिवासी समझा जाता है हमारे लोगों पर रोज आए दिन उत्पीड़न होता है ये वर्ण व्यवस्था और जातिवाद चला के इंसानों ने बनाई है ये खत्म होनी चाहिए लेकिन कोई इस पर ध्यान नहीं दे रहा था and my colleague uh, rupashri continues to be with us rupashri we just heard uh, that interview that you have taken with mr rajin pal gautam he is defiant he is sticking by his stand well absolutely uh... have to understand is that Mr. Rajendra Pal Gautam is actually an Ambedkarite, hmm. and he is a practicing Buddhist. And uh, very soon he has told us that he is going to make that official also, and he is extremely committed uh, to uh, to that uh, you know thought, uh, that that uh, political thought. Uh, Rajendra Pal Gautam does not believe that he has committed any uh, you know sin uh, by uh, being uh, present over there, uh, uh, and he has pointed out that. Uh, Uh, many uh, bjp uh, uh, ministers uh, from maharashtra also made it a point to be at diksha bhumi in nagpur when uh, the uh, you know the ceremony takes place every year uh, he has also pointed out that government of india itself uh, publishes uh, you know articles and books where uh, the roads are also defeated and it is nothing new crores and lakhs of people have uh, taken it uh, uh, through all these years but the reason uh, Uh, he uh, said uh, that uh, you know to us in that interview that he put in his papers is because he does not want his party or the leader of his party uh, to face any adverse impact because of uh, because of uh, the, uh, the what he calls a misinterpretation by the bjp and uh, and and and, and uh, trying to portray whatever has happened in in a completely different uh, line from what he had uh, he had actually originally thought he in that interview to us has also told us And if it ever comes uh, to a point where uh, he has to choose between staying within the Aam Aadmi Party or mm. being an ambassador, right, he would uh, definitely choose the latter without any regret. Uh, so he and uh, he, I mean, uh, of of all entire political career, 54 years, uh, more than 30 years he has spent in being an ambassador. Right? So he is not at all deterred by whatever has happened uh, to him or whatever is happening around him. However, the Aam Aadmi Party actually feels that because he is a minister, uh, he perhaps uh, should have been more cautious about his own presence uh, in a in a conversion uh, ceremony, uh, and especially at a time uh, when uh, you know elections are there in multiple uh, states uh, where the Aam Aadmi Party has high stakes, especially in Gujarat, and therefore uh, he had he has uh, tendered his resignation. Uh, we are just waiting for a con- confirmation on whether his resignation has been accepted or not. Uh, Mr. Gautam told us that there is no confirmation whether his resignation has been accepted or not, but he is uh, taking it as if it has already been accepted. And he's okay. telling. Um, Rupashree, uh, stay on with me. Is. I'm also joined by our colleague uh, Anshul, uh, who is with us live on the broadcast. Anshul, we also have been told that uh, ever since Mr. Uh, Paul decided to go ahead and give some interviews to various news channels. He was asked not to do that by the party high command, by the Aam Aadmi Party, till they deliberate. on how they are wanting to go about this entire controversy 
So yes, that's right. The Amadi Party has been continuously on the, the damage control mode, as Rupashi as Rupashi rightly reported on that day when this video went viral. We Rupashi rightly reported that Arvind Kejriwal was also very disappointed with the kind of situation that has arisen right before the Gujarat election. On one hand, the Amadi Party is trying to portray itself as an alternative to the BJP in Gujarat, and when situation like these arises, these actually give a lot of fodder to the Bharatiya Janata Party, where they can actually go ahead and turn this into a huge uh, shift of vote that could actually happen and that is the reason why we saw that none of the senior leaders of the Amadi party came out to defend the statements that were made on in that viral video where people were seeing actually converting from hinduism to buddhism and that is the reason why that even after the resignation that has come uh, yesterday of rajendra pal gautam uh, the bjp and the right wing organizations are in no mood to let go of this situation as of now they are making sure that their voices are, they make the right right noises and making sure that the message goes across that arvind kejriwal is not doing enough uh, for uh, for hindus in 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 delhi and in in the entire country as well and that is the reason why we are seeing that that they are co continuously building pressure on the amadmi party to take stringent action against this mla and make sure that he is shunned out of the party and even even his in his resignation letter the manner, the wording of that letter has also be, uh, the uh, the wording of that letter the objection has been also raised on that as well where he has written that it was the bjp who actually propagated the message in a wrong manner and that is why people got hurt and he did not want to hurt people but yes the sentiment on the ground is that people were actually very angry on mm. that viral video so it now remains to be seen in this damage control mode how does uh, aam aadmi party finally take down the pressure that is being built on them not only by the bjp as of now but also other right wing organizations who are actually demanding not only his arrest but also right. he should be shunted out absolutely and well. the fact that uh, we're looking at gujarat and that's what aam aadmi party is eyeing at the moment this is not going to go down well for the party especially in the state However, we also know how Arvind Kejriwal was extremely displaced ever since the first video came out against Mr. Uh, Gautam. However, uh, how do things stand at the moment is something that we are looking at. Let me take this across.